So they're all going to go out there and uh, take fly balls and check out the morning track and um, the angles, you know, uh, of the fences. So they'll get their work in, and then, um, you know, we'll, we'll, the, the thing is about taking BP at the first time is seeing the backdrop, you know, and let yeah. these guys uh, get their swings and see how the ball travels and uh, get ready for game. So what do you remember about playing across the street and how hot it was over there? It was hot. We were talking about that uh, yesterday when I was sitting by the pool with a bunch of guys that I can remember, one, it being hot. It, you know, some days were 7 o'clock, it was 98 degrees. Um, two is, I don't know if you guys remember the, 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 all the, the locusts that were on the field at a time. So fielding a ball out there was sometimes tricky because all the bugs, you know, the ball would come out and hit all the bugs and you had to pick it up. So, But it was, uh, I had a great time here, you know. Um, you know, I played for Johnny Oates, which was one of, one of my... One of my favorite guys. Um, so, you know, when I come back here, you know, the first memory was, you know, about Johnny and what a good person he was. Dave, you've had Paolo now in the rotation a couple turns through. Um, I'm assuming he's kind of at the point where you can kind of treat him like a, a normal starter in terms of workload? Yes, he uh, he went out there last time and, and did well. You know, so uh, we have no limitations on him right now. Just go out there and, and you know, for him, just get quick outs and uh, keep us in the ball game. But he's done. He's done well. Whatever we ask him to do, he's done really well. So, um, you know, we just hope he goes out there and 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 give us you know five or six innings, and then we'll go from there. Some might look at that like the role that he's in. Well, I'm in the rotation because of what's happened to others, and not necessarily as a reflection of him. Does he seem like the type that's not going to be bothered by? How he's perceived and why he's in whatever particular role he's in at that time. At that time, absolutely not. I mean, he's here. He understands that he's here to help the team in any way possible. Um, you know, in spring training, you know, we we talked to him about his role changing. You know, uh, mid-season. You know, he could be a long man. You know, if he pitches well, he could be a one-inning guy, or or he can actually you know have to move into the starting rotation. Um, he knew that coming in, and and uh, you know, uh, it worked to where he's now pitching. You know, uh, every five days, and he's accepted his role, and he's done well. Yeah, with um, Jackson tomorrow, just looking ahead to his start. Um, it's tomorrow, right? Sunday. Sunday. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, I'm giving the confused one. You've got a lot of moving parts in your rotation. Uh, just w when you. What's impressed you, um, especially given that the first one didn't go as well and maybe the adjustments he made um, to the second start? Yeah, you know, he was, you know, like I said, he worked on some things with, with Hick, you know, in his, in his bullpen, um, but he went out. The biggest thing for me is that how, how poised he really was, you know. Um, like I said, he was really amped up his first outing. He really really settled down, um, and, and Hickey noticed a big difference in his, you know, before, his warm-ups before the game, how uh, composed he was. So he went out there and, and threw strikes, and um, we're hoping that he does the same thing Sunday, you know, just control the heartbeat, you know, and that's what we always talk about, these young guys going out there. Hey, don't try to do too much. Just you be you. And and, uh, and and just control control what what you can do and um, he did that very well his last outing um, and he's a tough kid as we saw you know I mean he got hit with with a line drive and um, you know I thought we were gonna have to take him out and he was adamant about staying in and finish the inning and he did really well. Can that be a matter of just getting the jitters out of the way of that first one and maybe we're gonna see a bit more of what he's like um, from here on forward? Yeah, I mean, I, I really believe, um, you know, look, he faced he faced a very tough lineup you know, his last outing. So um, he got and these guys are, are the same. So, um, you know, I just want him to go out there, like I said, you know, go pitch by pitch, you know, and uh, control, the, you know, control, control the breathing, get, get, you know, keep his heart rate down if things get a little crazy on him uh, and just go out there and have fun. I know you pointed out some of the encouraging signs you saw from Corbin the other night. Um, the results, though, are still not what you guys want them to be. Moving forward, do you do you start thinking about it? Is there anything else we can do, whether that's his role, whether it's giving him a break, whether it's trying something different, or do you feel like the best course of action is to keep putting him out there and and believing that it's going to get better results? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna keep running him out there. Like I said, his, he, he's throwing the ball. His last couple outings, he's throwing the ball really well. Um, and uh, we, we got, we're doing a lot of different things of, of looking where he was at 19 compared to what he's doing right now. And there's a lot of similarities. So, you know, his last outing, you know, um, he gave up three runs. We didn't hit. You know, you can look at it that way. You know, we, we got to score some runs for him as well. So, um, but, you know, right now I, I like what he's doing. Uh, you know, I like, um, you know, the biggest thing his last outing was, was finishing hitters. Um, you know, he had a lot of foul balls. 
So, we, you know, we did talk to him about that a little bit. Um, but we, we don't, I don't want him to shy away from the strike zone, and that's what happened to him before. Um, he's throwing strikes, and he's pounding the strike zone. So I want him to continue to do that. And it's just a matter of time before things start going his way. And like I said, we score a few runs here and there for him. Um, you know, you'll see him pitch six innings, you know, two, three runs, uh, and, and, uh, and start winning ball games. So, um, but I like, you know, I, I told him, you know, I sat with him and talked to him about how well I thought he pitched, you know, and just, uh, continue to do that, you know, things will turn around for him.